Hey everybody, it's John here, and in today's video we're going to take a look at how to create a dynamic traffic light type visual for dashboards. So this traffic light is going to show red when our KPI is under a certain value, and yellow when it's between two values, and green when it's above that value. So I've got this set up to show a red when it's under a million, so if I type in something here under a million, then it's going to stay red. And if I type something in here that's over a million, then it shows a yellow. And anything over two million gets a green. So this is great for key performance indicator type numbers in dashboards. And maybe this value here is shown in a data card and maybe it's connected to a pivot table or something like that, displaying a grand total with a get pivot data formula. So let's take a look at how I did this. So we're going to need to do the first step to building this traffic light visual in PowerPoint because the shape options that we need to use are not available in Excel. So we're going to be using the merge shape options found in PowerPoint. So first let's go up to our insert tab and go to shapes. And we can select this rectangle shape and that's going to be our traffic light shape and then we're going to go back to the insert tab and select another shape so we're going to use this oval shape to draw a circle and if you just do it freehand it's going to be hard to get it to look like a circle so I'm just going to delete that and go back to the insert tab and try that again so the trick to making a perfect circle is if you hold the shift key and then click and drag, that's going to make it a perfect circle. And then I'm going to align this in the center on my rectangle. And maybe I want to make that a little bit bigger. So hold shift again. And then I can copy and paste that another two times. And then let's just make our rectangle a little bit bigger. Now if I select one of the shapes and press Control A, it's going to select all the shapes. And when I've got everything selected, I'm going to go up to my Format tab and there's this Merge Shapes option here. If I click on the little arrow next to it, I get some more options. And the one I'm going to use is Combine and it's basically going to cut out those circles from my rectangle and I'm left with just one shape that way and now I'm going to go up and uh, change the colors so I'm going to pick a dark gray for the color and I'm also going to change the outline and I'm going to pick a black there and now that we've got our shape ready I'm just going to cut and paste it so control X and and go to Excel and paste that in there. And then I'm going to pick a cell that's going to contain my KPI. So I'm just going to put a little placeholder number in there, so 500,000. And I'm going to do most of the work in another sheet. So here I'm just going to set up my two values that's going to drive my traffic light. So uh, 1 million was our first value. And then 2 million is our next value. So we're going to have red when we're under a million, and yellow when we're between a million and 2 million, and then green when we're over 2 million. And we're going to achieve that by using some conditional formatting. So in a cell over here, I'm going to go up to the Home tab and Conditional Formatting, and New Rule. And we're going to create a rule based on a formula and we're going to set that formatting to be red and press OK. And we want this to be red whenever our KPI is less than or equal to a million. So if I set this up with our KPI value here, less than or equal to, and go back to my sheet with my million figure, that's the formula I need. I can press OK. 
and then we're going to do our yellow value so same thing up in the home tab conditional formatting and we're going to create a new rule and based on a formula and it's going to be formatted as yellow and this formula is going to have two conditions so I need an AND formula and we want our KPI value to be greater than 1 million and we want our KPI value to be less than or equal to 2 million. So I can press OK there. And our last conditional formatting up in the Home tab, conditional formatting and new rule. And again, a formula. And this one's going to be green. And this one we want our KPI value here to be greater than 2 million. And press OK. And then I'm also just going to apply some regular formatting. So if I press Control 1, select those three cells and press Control 1, I'm going to apply some regular gray formatting so that when it's not a different color, it's going to be gray. And now I'm going to kind of resize these to be a similar height or just a little bit bigger than each of those circles in my traffic light. So let's try something like that. And if I copy this, so Control C, and go over to my sheet. And then I'm going to go up into my Home tab and use the Paste options down here. And there's an option here for a linked picture. So I'm going to pick that. And this isn't quite big enough, so I'm just going to hold Shift and resize it a little bit. And that looks like it's going to work. So I'm just going to select both my shapes and go up into the Format tab and just align those. So align center and then align middle. And then I'm just going to select my linked picture and I'm going to send that backwards. So in the Format tab, send to back. And then I'm going to select both those shapes. And again, in my Format tab, I'm going to group them together and that way they'll just stay together as one object and you can resize them too that way. And let's test this out. So here I've got a half million and I'm showing red. That looks good. And let's try 1.5 million and it should be yellow and it is. And let's try 2.5 million and I get a green. So there we go, that's how we can create a traffic light visual for dashboards based on a KPI value or key performance indicator value. First, we needed to create our traffic light shape in PowerPoint and use the merge shapes options there to cut out some circles. And then we set up some conditional formatting to toggle the different colors of our traffic light and use the link picture to add behind our traffic light shape. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. We'll see you guys next time.